Hey everyone, I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm super excited today. I'm gonna show you how to make some oven baked steak fries. Now these, what I'm really excited about is that they are super crunchy and crispy on the outside. I figured out how to do it and they are nice and tender of course and creamy on the inside. Now I fashioned this recipe on my very popular oven baked eggplant. And that recipe, you know, if you haven't seen it or you have seen it, you know that people really love it. So I thought, well, I'd try and transfer it somehow to potatoes, make some nice fries, you know? So that's what we're doing today. And I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to get the best crunch into these, cause that's the challenge. And I think you're gonna love it. All right, let's go over our ingredients. First up, we're gonna need some potatoes. I'm using Yukon Gold because they just are the best, I think. And they work great in this recipe. Now I use organic because, well, I want the least amount of pesticides on my dish. All right, or in my dish. I'm using some breadcrumbs here. Now these are by Aaliyah and they are gluten-free. This recipe is gluten-free, by the way, and you don't have to make it gluten-free and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But first let's go over our gluten-free ingredients. So Aaliyah's breadcrumbs with the Italian seasoning are what we need. I have some Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour that's also gluten-free. And then well, I'll need some a little bit additional Italian seasoning. Now I have a, a video that I made and I'll leave a link for you so that you can make this little blend and have it on hand whenever you need it. Now we're gonna need some plenty of olive oil and a little bit of salt. Now if you're not interested in making this gluten-free, you can make it with gluten in it by using regular breadcrumbs or panko breadcrumbs, you know, and just add some, a little bit of flour and my, of course you still need to add some of my uh, Italian seasoning to that as well. But that's, you know, that's the only change. So the first thing we want to do to start with our recipe and, and a tip is to soak our potatoes for at least 30 minutes, but longer would be better. Okay, and what that does is it helps release the starch in the potato and then they crisp up a lot nicer. So you just take your potato, I scrub these clean and then cut them in half. This is the best way I found it. Cut them in half again and then take each wedge and cut that in half. So you're getting pieces that look, you know, like this. So they're not super thin and they're not super thick. All right, we'll place them in a bowl of water and I'll just chop these up and let them soak. All right, we'll get our breadcrumb mixture together. I have my breadcrumbs here in this bowl and I'm gonna add the flour to that. My Italian seasoning blend, garlic powder, and I'm just gonna put a little pinch of salt in there. And you just combine this and we'll set it aside until we're ready to use it. So once we're done soaking the potatoes for at least 30 minutes, and you can go overnight, that works too, uh, then you're gonna want to dry them as much as you can. That's really important because otherwise they're gonna steam in the oven and won't get crispy. So what I like to do is to take my salad spinner put them in that and just whirl them away and just get as much water off as I possibly can. Then after doing that, I also place them on paper towels or uh, clean towels and just pat them dry. You want them as absolutely dry as you can get them, okay? Once you get your potatoes as dry as you can, place them into a you know good sized bowl and then we're gonna drizzle olive oil over all of it and we're gonna toss them to get them nicely coated. We're also gonna prep up our baking sheet. I have a baking sheet here with uh, parchment paper on it and I'm also gonna place some olive oil on it and spread it out with my hand, okay? Just to brush it around. This is gonna help the potatoes crisp up. And of course the parchment paper is gonna keep it from, the potatoes from sticking as well because they will stick to this pan and we don't want that. So give it a nice generous coat. I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. So now we're ready to coat the potatoes. So they're nice and coated here. We're gonna place them into individually into the breadcrumb mixture and just coat them completely, okay? And then we'll place them on the baking sheet. Now you want them not to be too crowded, so we wanna leave a little space in between each one so that uh, they can roast and not steam. We want these to crisp up. 
and they won't do that if they're too close together. So just I'm taking a brush here and I'm just brushing the oil continuously because it kind of wants to beat up over the pan. So here we go. We'll just continue to do this till all the pieces are coated and place it on the cookie sheet. These are going in the oven 375 degrees for 20 minutes and then we'll check them. Our potatoes are cooking in the oven so it must be time for our chef joke. What do you call a, an R&B funk tribute band that only plays in the kitchen? Earth, Wind & Fryer! So after we turn the potatoes over after the first 20 minutes, we're going to raise the temperature to 425 and we're also going to drizzle some more olive oil, just a little light touch over all the potatoes. You may find that the potatoes really absorb the oil, so you might want to drizzle a little bit more as you're going and feel free to do that if it looks too dry. I also forgot to salt the potatoes right in the beginning, so when they come out and I flip them over, I'm going to just apply a little you know, sprinkling of salt all around. Here are our potatoes hot out of the oven. They are nice and crunchy and browned up and crispy, just like we want them, right? Check this out. And I cooked them for about, it was 20 minutes, so it was about 25 minutes the first time, and then when we raised the temperature, we went another 27, 28 minutes. So just play around with it until you get them nice and crispy the way you like them. All right, I'm going to take one of these and give it a little taste. If I can, it's not too hot. You gotta love the crunch. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can sure taste it. Delicious. Creamy, creamy on the inside. You really must try these. So if you'd like to check out my oven baked eggplant recipe, because maybe you love eggplant, and you want to try it out, even if you don't like uh, eggplant. I tell you, you should try this because I've seen people change their minds, me included. And so, you know, I'll leave a link for you right over here. Check that out and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this recipe and we'll see you next time. And remember, you know, if it's delicious and nutritious, it'll make you ambitious.